This is your prime time forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Dr. Don's Weather is made possible by the Randolph County Commission, East Alabama Waste, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Weight Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House and Bama Diesel Repair. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Southern Union State Community College and the venue at Five Points Farms, here's Dr. Don. And good morning, East Alabama in West Georgia. Welcome to your Thursday. Yeah, this week has flown by. We've got a lot to talk about this morning. We'll tell you about the rain chances through the weekend, and we're beginning to turn our attention to the Gulf of Mexico. I'll let you know what all that's about coming up in this morning's edition of your primetime forecast for Thursday, September 19th, 2024 on Dr. Don's Weather. Brought to you by the Salem Auction House. Big auction coming up this Friday night, and that's where you need to be. they got the food trucks, lots of great items to bid on. It's a lot of fun down at the Salem Auction House. You'll find them at 50 Lee County Road, 175 in Salem, Alabama. You can get in touch with them by calling Joey Knight at 706-315-7266. Be sure and tell Joey, the Dr. Don sent you. Also, Jamie Dukas, get your ducks in a row with Dukas across Alabama and Georgia for all your commercial and personal insurance needs. Jamie can save you money in this economy that we're living in today. So get in touch with Jamie Dukas by calling Dukas at 256-831-7770. All right, let's talk about some weather. We've got high pressure in firm control across Alabama and Georgia, and that is going to remain in place at least through the weekend, probably through the latter part of next week. Now, high pressure means typically sunny conditions and warm conditions. Low pressure is when you get the rain and cool weather. So warm and dry through the weekend, probably out there till about Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. And we're watching the Gulf of Mexico. I know there have been a lot of things out there on social media about this big, huge storm. It's going to move up into the Gulf of Mexico and then rip right across the state of Alabama, perhaps Georgia. Folks, let me tell you this. We're beginning to get confident that we will have something develop in the Western Caribbean, which will move up into the Southern Gulf of Mexico. But at this point, we can't tell you. I mean, it may be nothing more than just a broad low pressure system, or it could be a strong hurricane. It could affect from Mexico to Texas, to Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida. We don't know exactly where it's going to go. Now, as each day passes, the confidence level will increase with that forecast. But right this moment, nobody can tell you exactly what's going to happen and where it's going to go. Um, I think we're probably looking at next weekend if something does develop. And again, the steering currents, we just can't tell you this far in advance exactly where it's going to go. Now, I'm thinking probably by the time we get to Friday night, Saturday morning, certainly by Sunday, the confidence level will come way up and we really uh, will begin to start seeing a pretty confident forecast out there on what, if anything, we're going to be dealing with in the Gulf of Mexico toward the end of next week into next weekend. Uh, So, uh, we'll keep you updated right here on Dr. Don's weather. So, here's what the tropics look like this morning. There are three areas that we're keeping an eye on. We've got the central Atlantic. Uh, We have uh, one area there that has a 40 to 60% chance of developing. And then just to the left of that, or just to the west, uh, we have another area that has about a 20 to 40% chance of developing. Uh, The Central Atlantic system would move north and away from the United States. The one to the left, the yellow-hatched area, may uh, develop and work toward the eastern seaboard. And then we have that area that we're really going to be watching uh, over the weekend uh, for next weekend down in the Western Caribbean that could develop and move 
uh, just to the east of the Yucatan Peninsula and end up in the southern Gulf of Mexico by the time we get to the mid-latter part of next week. And that does have a 60% chance of developing this morning. So that, those are the three systems that we're looking at out there in the Atlantic today. Now let's take a look at your current conditions from the venue at Five Points Farms in Chambers County, Alabama. Currently it is 65 degrees. We have no wind to speak of. The humidity is 96%. Barometric pressure at 29.92, dew point 64. The high temperature yesterday, pretty warm, 85.6 degrees. We currently have partly cloudy skies. Sunrise this morning was at 620 or will be at 629. And the sun sets this evening at 643 p.m. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. Mostly sunny on your Thursday. Excuse me. Uh, I, I'm still dealing with sinuses. This has been an entire summer-long thing. Mostly sunny today with a high temperature around 85 degrees down to 65 tonight. Then on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, mostly sunny conditions the entire time. Uh, those high temperatures will get awfully close to 90 degrees. Overnight lows will hang out in the mid-60s. And then by Tuesday of next week, maybe a few clouds, but I still think we're dry on Tuesday. Mostly sunny, 85 will be your high. Now, Wednesday and Thursday, the clouds may continue to increase. It just depends on what we're dealing with in the Gulf of Mexico. Again, if anything at all. Uh, and then we will maybe uh, see some rain, showers, thunderstorms are all possible as we head toward next weekend. So if you have plans uh, for that weekend, you really want to pay attention to the forecast over the next several days. As I think we get a much better handle on whether or not we're going to be dealing with something tropical uh, out there in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, here's your Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar, and we're showing no precipitation across Alabama or Georgia. We take you a little closer to home across East Alabama and West Georgia, and you can see that we are high and dry. To get an opportunity, we ask that you head over to our uh, weather store. There's the link at the bottom of the video. If you'll go to the top of the video, You'll find on Facebook, you'll find a clickable link, and it's at the bottom of the video on YouTube where you can pick up a Dr. Don coffee cup, a t shirt, and a baseball cap. Part of the proceeds come back to support us here at Dr. Don's Weather. You'll also find multiple different links where you can support us if you'd just like to make a donation. We need your support, and we would love for you to do that for us this morning. If you own a business across East Alabama, West Georgia, and you'd like to be a partner with us here on Dr. Don's Weather, just send me a message on Messenger or Discord, and I can have you started by the time we do our very next weather forecast, which if the good Lord's willing the creek don't rise will happen first thing tomorrow morning here on Dr. Don's Weather. This has been your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College, the venue at Five Points Farms and Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery. Dr. Don's weather is supported by the Randolph County Commission, East Alabama Waste, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Weight Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, the Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, the Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. Be sure to like us on Facebook, share us with all of your friends, and subscribe to Dr. Don's weather on YouTube. We will be back tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's weather.